students today i am going to discuss protected group for 1 2 diol and 1 3 diol so cis 1 2 diols can be protected as acetals and ketals or as cyclic orthoesters or cyclic esters similarly cis and trans 1 3 diols can also be protected as cyclic acetals and ketals or as cyclic orthoesters or cyclic esters and similar to protecting groups for alcohols these protecting groups for 1 2 diol and 1 3 diols are going to tolerate acid base hydrolysis monometallic reagents oxidizing agent and reducing agents so first we will see how 1 2 diol or 1 3 diols can be protected as cyclic acetals and ketals so in this cyclic acetal and ketals first is 1 2 diols and 1 3 diols can be protected as isopropylidene or it is called astonites so if you see the protection reaction it is as follows 1 2 diol here i am going to discuss the examples of 1 2 diol because majority of the reactions what we are going to see for 1 2 diol it is similar to 1 3 diol so i taken the example of 1 2 diols so if we treat 1 2 diol with acetone or 2 2 dimethoxy propane in presence of paratoline sulfonic acid will leads to the formation of isopropylidene or acetonides if you compare the deprotection reaction this isopropylidene or acetonides can be deprotected by using either mild aqueous acid or acetic acid in water here mild aqueous acid means mineral acids like hcl h2so4 paratoline sulfonic acid etc will be used for doing deprotection next is 1 2 diols can be protected as cycloalkylidene acetals so if you see the protection of 1 2 diols 1 2 diol upon treatment with cyclopentanone in presence of acid or cyclohexanone in presence of acid will lead to the formation of cycloalkylidene acetals and this cycloalkylidene acetals can be deprotected by treating with acid leads to the formation of free 1 2 diols next is benzylidene acetals 1 2 diols can be protected as benzylidene acetals so if you see the reaction of how this benzylidene acetal is formed is treatment of 1 2 diol with benzaldehyde in presence of acid or dimethoxy derivative of benzaldehyde in presence of acid leads to the formation of benzylidene acetals and this benzylidene acetals can be removed or deprotected by treating with acid or it can also be deprotected through hydrogenolysis that is by using hydrogen palladium carbon in presence of acetic acid leads to the formation of free 1 2 diols now we will see the other type of protection that is by formation of cyclic orthoesters among this cyclic orthoesters first is the 1 2 diols can be protected as alkoxy methane acetals now we will see how this alkoxy methane acetals are formed so here the reaction for the formation of alkoxy methane acetals 1 2 diol upon treatment with trimethyl orthoformate in presence of acid or triethyl orthoformate will leads to corresponding methoxy methane acetal ethoxy methane acetal overall in general we can call it as alkoxy methane acetals if you come for the deprotection of this alkoxy methane acetals will be deprotected 
by mild acid hydrolysis followed by basic hydrolysis means if we do mild acid hydrolysis it is going to form mono formats that mono format will be removed by basic hydrolysis so overall it is deprotected by using mild hydrolysis followed by basic hydrolysis next is 1 to diols can be protected as cyclic esters or cyclic carburates so how this cyclic ester or cyclic carburates are formed is as follows 1 to diol upon treatment with cdi carbonyl diimidazole or posgene or triposgene will lead to the formation of cyclic carburates or cyclic ester this cyclic carburates a cyclic ester can be deprotected by treatment with a base will lead to deprotection so overall i will summarize what are the important things we need to remember in the case of protecting groups for 1 to diol and 1 3 diol that is cyclic esters and ketals are cyclic ortho esters are cleaved by acid hydrolysis so whether it is protected as cyclic ester or ketal or cyclic ortho ester both the cases we have seen that it will be deprotected by acid hydrolysis and only cyclic carburates has been cleaved by basic hydrolysis and next is cyclic ortho esters are more readily cleaved than cyclic esters or ketals one to acetonide formation is usually favored over 13 acto 9 that is if we are protecting 1 to diol as acetonide that is by treatment with acetone or dimethoxy propane in that case 1 to acetone acetonide formation is favored over 13 acetonide that is if we have a triol if we are doing acetonide reaction then 1 to acetonide will be favored over 1 3 acetonide so that is the meaning of this sentence and if you compare the cleavage order for acetonide and cyclo alkylidine acetals this is the order if it is formed through cyclohexanone that is cyclohexylidine acetal it is hard to remove by acid hydrolysis compared to simple acetonide and it is very much easier to remove this cyclopentylidene acetal and one more important thing is 13 benzylidene formation is usually favored over 12 benzylidene so it is just reverse of what we have discussed for acetonides that is if we have a triol then if we treat with benzaldehyde in presence of acid then it is going to form benz benzylidine acetal that is 13 benzylidine acetal will be formed instead of 12 benzylidine acetal so these two are very very important that is if they have given protection of 1 to diol if they provide the condition that is benzaldehyde h plus and if the molecule is having triol or polyol then 13 benzylidine formation is preferred than 1 2 suppose if they give acetone in presence of para toluene sulfonic acid then 1 to acetonide pref- uh, formation will be preferred so these are the important protecting groups for the 1 to diols and 1 3 diols thank you